what's up everybody 915 mang here hanging out with you guys today hope you guys are all doing well and uh, your fish tanks and your corals and everything are growing um, today I'm gonna be doing a video and uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on some equipment kind of changing it up a little bit keeping things a little bit interesting as uh, I change things up on my tank but I'm glad you guys were able to hang out today and gives me a chance to talk to all the other crazy reefers out there who are doing things to their tanks, spending money on corals and equipment. So let's go ahead and get into this video. This video is going to be about an algae reactor, a uh, chato reactor to be exact. And I'm going to be using the Excel reactor. It's a monster. This is the Excel 45. And the biggest one that I was able to get, it's uh, 20 inches. So 20 inch reactor. Uh, I pretty much only seen it on Marine Depot. I'll check Marine Depot out. And the cool thing about this reactor is the design. The design uses a flow accelerator um, right on the tip. And what that does is it allows you to use a weak pump or not a strong pump. And it's still going to push that media pretty well. This is a uh, bio pellet reactor. And I'm totally not going to use it for a bio pellet. But it says that you can use carbon and GFO and all that good stuff as well. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at some of the equipment. It has a lot of stuff. The price point, of course, right there, $99. And uh, pretty good because this is a 20-inch reactor. This is the next size down from a from their biggest reactor and uh that's pretty sweet because if you look at some of the other reactors you're not going to be able to stuff as much media and things like that now it comes with sponges comes with different options and i was originally going to get this and use this for my 20 gallon long um, because it came with the, a bracket that you can put on the filter and then make it a hang on back uh monster filter which i didn't want to do so I'm, instead i'm going to use this on the 180 i have plenty of space in my 180 to uh pit this in underneath the tank and i'm going to use it for that um and we're going to make it a algae algae uh, chato reactor um you can also notice on the bottom it's not flat it came kind of coned and there it is the aerator some people use these aerators to push a lot of more flow but uh, I use the flow in my tank with the pumps. That's how I get the flow. Um, there it is. Uh, I can't wait to go ahead and put this together. And let's get to it. So this thing is a monster. Let's go ahead and zoom out one more time. Uh, the goal is to have this whole reactor filled with Chato. And uh, I'm still running my algae turf scrubber. I'm still running a protein skimmer. But I'm also going to be running a Chato reactor on the bottom. Um, I Instead of running a Chato in my refugium, I'm just going to do it right here. And hopefully this thing grows out well. Now the lights that I'm going to use, I got these lights on Amazon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the price of that. They're like 12, 13, 14 bucks. That's the brand. The important thing, guys, when you buy these is to make sure that they provide you a power supply. Now... These are the uh, red, blue spectrum. They're supposed to be for plant growing. Those are th that's the link that I got from Amazon. Fourteen bucks. Uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, the screws and all that crap. I didn't use that, and uh, came in the box. Let's go ahead and open this stuff up, and uh, get to it. Now it does come with uh, some the strips, and you can cut off as much as you need um there's like a little spot right there it even tells you where to cut those are the cheap little leds let's see um how this thing goes out you're probably only going to just need one set of lights this is a shit ton of lights um and unless you're going to have a big reactor like me uh this will probably be more than plenty i'm gonna go ahead and check and make sure that they work and uh, let's go ahead and see. Obviously, they do work. There's some options where you can have uh, remotes and things like that. Uh, and I'm not going to need a remote to turn it on or off. I'm just going to plug it in and just leave it on. 
as you can see everything works red and blue and uh, let's see how good this actually works of course um, you're gonna need to subscribe to see if this thing works or not but this is the initial setup and uh, hopefully it does work Every, all the LEDs are cool to the touch and uh, now it's time to plug up the reactor make sure that it doesn't leak and uh, go from there this is the first time that I set up this reactor I actually had this reactor for a while I put a little bit of uh, holes clamp on there and as you know that's the two little fishies ball valve I can slow down this flow as much as I want and uh, go from there uh, it was really easy to set up I didn't have to glue anything just pretty much plugged it in and it's gonna return back into my uh, water pump section now I have been keeping the chato the chato that I had is been in my sump with no light but I want to show you the small pump that I'm going to use. I am going to use this little tiny, tiny little pump right here that came in a canister fil filter that I had uh, back when I had a 34 gallon cube back in the day. I still kept the little pump and I'm going to use that little pump to power up my reactor. As you can see the things are spinning around, little things of chato right there and the thing is spinning pretty good for being a weak weak uh, pump now I do have a little bit of chato I've kept some in my refugium right there really just sitting there in case I needed it later on I'm surprised it's not dead because I've had the light off only time I keep the light on is if I have to do something underneath the tank but uh, that's the chato right there I'm gonna clean it up get it it's a decent size you know but uh, I used to have this whole section just filled from top to bottom full of chato, uh, pods, all kinds of good stuff in there. Used to be in there like, but uh, now I'm just going to do it in the reactor and let's see how things grow. So far, no leaks at all. It was really easy to design, pit in. Uh, just it comes with different options too for the hoses, but let's go ahead and put this light on. Now this LED rope, it does come with some uh, double stick tape. The best way to do it is with a rubber band. For me, I just rubber band it right there and just started wrapping it around. Uh, eventually got all the way up to the top. I wasn't expecting to use the whole reel of LED lights, but you know what, I'm not, I have no other use for them. And uh, so I'm just gonna wrap this 20 inch reactor full of the rope. I did use uh, one zip tie. I didn't overdo it, but uh, to be honest, rubber bands work great. And I think they work better, actually. These reactors can be pretty pricey compared to the other, you know, Chato reactors out there. This reactor total cost me $114. I used the pump. I had existing tubing around the house. Uh, it's important to know that the uh, reactor does not come with any tubing does not come with any pump so you got to keep that in mind um interested i'm interested to see how uh, you guys have set yours up if you guys are thinking about setting one up this was pretty easy to do most definitely recommend it if it works well um i'll let you guys know i'll be keeping you guys in the loop and uh this thing is full of leds i use the whole string of LEDs and as you can see this is a big ass chamber for chato to grow um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some chato that I showed you in my sump I'm gonna clean it out um, the way I cleaned it out I just got it shook it off because there's all kinds of crap in there um, I haven't been using it at all but this is a good size to start off with and let's see how much it grows um, because I've seen other videos and other people um, where they're trimming their things down like weekly and that whole thing is full. Let's see if it does take that long to grow with mine or if, or if it actually works or not. I do got to admit that it does have a cool look. You know, these are $14 LEDs from Amazon and uh, they're super bright. And uh, as this thing fills up, the reactor, like I said, I did do a water test before I even hooked up these LEDs because... If uh, I would have had water leaking and then I wrapped up my LEDs, I would have been shit out of luck. But as you can see, it's filling up nicely. Can't wait to see this thing actually filled with chato. 
and uh, go from there. Uh, the top, twist off, easy to put on, take off. Uh, if I want to drain it, I'll just unplug the little Tetra pump that, that's powering this uh, reactor, lift it up and kind of drain it, and then just twist off the cap carefully with the towel. So let's see. It's not really spinning so much on the bottom, but let's see. I can adjust the flow, which is pretty good. And also these little Amazon lights, uh, surprisingly, are super freaking bright. Um, lights up my whole kitchen. So I'm probably going to come up with uh, needing some doors on this tank stand eventually uh, because uh, the, those lights are super bright. So hopefully this will be a nice addition to battling uh, nutrients and excess algae, hair algae, and all that good stuff. With this reactor, I have a protein skimmer online now. I have a surf algae turf scrubber from Santa Monica. And I have a monster reactor. You can see this reactor is almost as big as my uh, protein skimmer, which is pretty freaking awesome. So I'm going to try to use this thing to keep my reef looking good. Grow some chato and uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Let's see if this uh, works, if these cheap Amazon lights work and um, how that chato looks. The chato growth comes out uh, next week. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you guys have a good one. Like and subscribe, and you guys take care.